Hello and welcome to yet another video by Pale Blue Thoughts. Today we are going to discuss something that is right up my work alley. Whenever we hear about a fire in our news, the most common statement that we hear is that the cause of the fire is thought to be a short circuit. So what is a short circuit and why is it dangerous? That is what we will discuss in this video. But there is a twist. I am going to explain these concepts in Indian movie style. You will never forget this one physics concept in your life after watching this video, even if you forget Newton's laws. For us to understand more about short circuits, we need to visit our school days a bit. We need to correctly understand something we studied there called the Ohm's law. Don't run away hearing the word Ohm's law. I will try and explain it in a way you never understood it in school. The Ohm's law is as simple as Einstein's famous equation. The equation of Ohm's law is V is equals to IR. Ohm's law shows the relationship between the three quantities voltage, current and resistance. Here V is voltage, I is current and R is resistance. The most used application of the Ohm's law is by using the equation I is equals to V by R. Voltage is defined as a deciding factor whether there should be a flow of current from one place to another. It is a potential difference. Voltage is the pressure from an electrical circuit's power source that pushes charged electrons called current through a conductor, enabling them to do work such as illuminating a light. Current tends to flow from an area of high potential to a low potential. When there is an area where there is high number of charged electrons in comparison to another point in a conducting medium, we say that there is a potential difference between these two points. But there are other factors to consider before there is a steady flow of current. The flow of current depends a lot on the intervening medium between the potential differences. The ability of the medium to conduct the current or the ability of a medium to resist the flow of current is called the resistance. I will give you an example that everyone can relate to. Let us take a typical Indian movie. The hero falls in love with the heroine but the girl does not reciprocate his love. So there is definitely a potential difference between both of them. The hero wants to send all his love to the heroine which we can call as current, but there is something that makes his effort difficult, her resistance to accept his advances. The higher the resistance, the less chance the hero will be able to equalize the potential difference and make the current or his love life steady. The point that I am trying to make here, I think with this example you will not forget Ohm's law in your life ever, right? Keep this analogy in your mind as you hear the rest of the video. Trust me, it will help you understand the concepts very easily. So coming back to physics, the potential difference between two points is what we call as voltage. How much the conducting medium will resist the flow of electricity is called the resistance and the amount that actually flows through is called the current. The relationship between them is what we denote by I is equals to V by R in the equation. So the amount of current that flows through a medium is a figure obtained by dividing the potential difference by the resistance of the medium. Now there is another factor that you need to consider regarding the flow of electricity. As the current or the charged electrons tries to grow from higher potential to a lower potential, there are many obstacles that may appear in its path. Other atoms in the medium or its surrounding. Remember, these are charged particles and they get affected by other charged particles around them. So as they go through the medium, they tend to collide with the other particles and this causes them to lose their energy. The effect is the same as the girl's politically influenced dad or two big brothers who are out to protect their sister from the boy's advances. The entry of the father or big brothers increases the heat around the entire scenario. There is a fight which means there is loss of energy. Coming back to physics again, this loss of energy manifests as heat 
and we call the phenomenon as Joule's heating effect. We can call this the Telugu cinema effect if you want to remember it easily. So the medium gets heated up due to these collisions. The Joule's heating effect is denoted by another formula H is equals to I square RT. H here is the heat the current produces in the medium. I is current, R is resistance and T is the amount of time the current flow was present in the medium. So the heat generated in the medium will depend on the current, the resistance of the medium and the time the current flows through the medium. One thing to note here is that the relation between H and I is that H is proportional to the square of the current that flows through the medium. If I is doubled then H becomes 4 times. If I is increased 3 times H becomes 9 times. The amount of heat produced depends strongly on the amount of current that passes through the medium. Again back to a love story. If the boy continues to go ahead with his advances despite the threats from her father or her brothers, the villain of the story may call some of their friends or engage some gundas in order to teach the guy a lesson. So the situation gets heated up multiple times. As his advances or his love or the current increases, so does the fury of the villain and their gundas. You get the idea well, don't you? Now let us combine Ohm's law and Joule's heating effect. If for some reason in the equation V by R the resistance becomes zero, then the equation becomes V by zero and anything divided by zero is infinity. So there is a huge electrical flow that would happen in that case. This condition where the resistance reduces and tends to go towards zero is what we call as short circuit. During a short circuit, the resistance of the medium becomes close to zero and as a result of it, there is a huge flow of current as per the Ohm's law. Coming back to our movie, this is the time the heroine gets a revelation that the hero is actually the person that she had been waiting for since the last seven Janams and she reciprocates her love suddenly. The resistance disappears. Poof! The potential difference is balanced and the current between them increases. There is a short circuit. So as the current increases, let's focus on the second equation H is equals to I square RT. As the current increases manifold, the amount of heat that gets generated also increases as the square of the current as I mentioned earlier. The current usually flows through a wire and the wire has a limit to the heat that it can withstand. As the heat increases beyond its heat withstanding capacity, the obvious effect would be that the wire would start to burn. If there is a source of fuel or something that catches fire kept close to the wire like papers, cartons or clothes, then that catches fire too and very soon there is a huge fire that gets started. Imagine the climax scene, the final fight. Everyone is involved in the fight. Hero, heroine, heroine's father, brothers, gundas, hero's family and their gundas. It's a free for all fight. Now there is one particular property of fire. As fire burns, it releases more heat and as more heat is released, the more it burns. So fire is something which has an existence on its own. So in a lot of ways, it behaves like a living thing. It takes in energy and using that energy, it tries to sustain itself. Much similar to how we take in food, which gets converted into energy and we use the same energy to sustain ourselves. So this is how a fire causes huge damages to people and property. So this is a story of how short circuits happen. It doesn't end up as a happy ending love story ever. It only causes destruction and devastation and unlike in movies, doesn't make a happy viewing experience. But today, we have a lot of ways in which we can prevent short circuits. There are circuit breakers like MCB, RCCB etc. But somehow in India, we don't pay too much attention to them. We don't always select the right circuit breakers. We sometimes replace fuse wires with copper wires which doesn't cause the fuse to cut off in case a huge amount of current comes in. Fuses are designed to cut the flow of current when there is a huge influx of current. But by changing the material, 
you are also changing its resistance which causes the fuse to allow more current than what is required. We sometimes bypass a fuse. All these atrocities happen commonly in our country. So the moral of the story is not to take short circuits lightly. They most of the times have the value of life affixed to them and the more you neglect basic hygiene the more dangerous situation you will be getting into. I hope you all would be careful in future when it comes to electricity and won't be responsible for causing short circuits in your home or at work. Let it be a happy ending story. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and share this video. If you have any comments, the comment box is empty for you to fill it. Till next time, stay safe and it's bye bye from Pale Blue Thoughts.